fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It's the same man where I go Every time I look cheap It's all a bunch of offended up type pussies Society wears your balls Political correctness then turns you soft It's like you can't even tell a joke These damn days it's like a good joke Some floppy dildo you pussies can't take Just get ready okay The shit talking cunts don't give a fuck What your gender or race, gender or race. So bitch you're pissed off of what Use a pussy and list the shit talking cunts on so bitch, you're pissed off with what? Cause he's a pussy and this the shit talking cunts on. Rubs a ball! For shit talking cunts podcast. With your host, Irish O'Neill. And overtime often. Sit back, spark up, and enjoy. What's up, everybody? It's the Shit Talking Cunts Podcast. I'm your host, Irish O'Neal, with my handsome, beautiful co-host over there, who I didn't recognize at first. The great over. What's up? Often. What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome back. Not much, and we got, of course, the great Ani Mushan. What up? What up? Ani Douche. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> the douchebags in the house. Douchebag. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I'm so fucking. Uh, I, it's fine. What? I know what you're gonna say? Annoyed. I, 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 well, no, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna complain about that. Uh, okay. No, no, but I like where your head's at because I'm definitely. I'm. St- I'm still in a complaint. I'm trying to keep the the complainy energy going from the previous two weeks because I'm here for it. Uh, I just want everyone to know that I've been living with that consistently. It doesn't just you're, happen you're on the days of here. the podcast. Yeah, no, no one is a prisoner <laughs> in my life. They can. They can leave. Or calm. Yeah. Or calm. I have a hair in my mouth. That's a great way to start the podcast. Mm-hmm. Hair, hair, hair everywhere. What's fucking up, dog? Should we do plugs and then just get into the fucking debauchery? Sure. What do you get to plug, you handsome devil? Like, oh, me first. Okay. Um, yeah, overtimeoften.com. Um, you can check me out there for all my social media links, music video, and music. Uh, you can find me on all your streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, whatever. Uh, find me here every week, STC. And yeah, that's it. Hell yeah, that's what's up. This Animoosh, what do you got to plug? All right. Check out my website, animooshmedia.com. Um, over Labor Day weekend, I'm going to be having a website wide sale. So check that shit out. Um, I have commissions open. Um, if you want some artwork, I'm doing that now. Um, <laughs> A lot of people have been hitting me up for cover art for like music or for podcasts. So definitely hit me up either on my Instagram at Ani underscore Moosh or by underscore Moosh also on Instagram. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Guys, uh, follow me on all social media. It's Irish O'Neill. Uh, check out the STC podcast on all platforms, all social media. Fucking like, share, subscribe. Give us a five star rating on iTunes because you know that helps, daddy. Um, Dragon Fire has some fucking new music we're working on right now, so that'll be coming out soon. Uh, there's rumblings and whisperings of Dainsleeve stuff starting to get going again. Ooh, ooh. so you can go to Dainsleeve.bandcamp.com for that. Too much content. Dot live, obviously, on fucking everywhere and shit. Uh, let's so check all of that out. And um, shout out to my fucking balls because this is the Derek Lewis episode, dude. I'm in my fucking underwear. My balls was hot. Also, I just didn't want to put pants on. Just I, so I just I wasn't fighting it. I'm just going with it, and that's that's where we're at. There right are now. no rules here. There's no rules right now, dog. Uh, <clears throat> my camera's kind of shitty right now because, as 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 previously mentioned, there's no producer on this podcast except for Yet. me, obviously. Uh, dude, bitch, don't break news on my own podcast. I'm not breaking any news. I said manifesting manifesting well manifest no longer because there's someone that's going to be coming on to produce so that i don't have to so i can just host because obviously that's what you come to this show for is to just fucking listen to my dumbass ramble and rant and fill the void that's in your life um so that'll be fun they'll be uh probably in the next week or two uh not to give any hints but they're not uh around right now because it's hitler's ghost 
Um, so that'll be fun. So we'll get a producer so I don't have to be an asshole and get up mid podcast and fucking go, you know, pull something up because maybe the person that's producing at that moment in time decides they're going to get up and go take a shower midway through my podcast. I mean, very, I told you I was very, <laughs> very disrespectful yet powerful move. So I respect I your power. I told you before that I was going to do that, and you well, tested probably witnessing not, my power, I probably, and I, then you had to witness it, dude. To be honest, I probably tuned that out because my brain was like, "That's unacceptable information." <laughs> He's about to podcast. There's no way a producer would ever agree to pod to produce and then get up midway through. No, you want to know why? Because I said to you, we I all have went, to this shower bitch at... just got up and fucking no. left mid podcast. I said, I have to, before we started, I said, I have to shower at X time. Do you still want me to produce? And you said, yes. And so I said, okay, I'm going to have to leave halfway gave, through. You gave no indication like, hey, now's the, and the, the best part, by the way, is for sure. You There's didn't... no good way to tell you that I'm getting up to shower halfway well, through when I well, already told you. You could have been like, Peace out, like deuces, throwing up the deuces or something like that. Because because you conveniently walked away right oh, at the man. moment we were going to the first segment. I'm pulling sorry. Shit up. Well, that was the other thing is that you were like Terrible. 40 minutes into the podcast. And I was like, you know what? The best podcast is when you don't get to the prepared material. And I was like, they're having fun. I, this is a good time for me to leave. I already stayed past the time 40, I was going to. 40, 40 minutes. This is what happens when you let women when you let women no. make decisions and just think freely. Do you see where her brain went now? Good intentions. What Always good intentions. when you educate women, too. I have two degrees, which makes me more dumb, supposedly. Yeah. Not my words. Society's words. Mm-hmm. That damn patriarchy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's all that kind of fun stuff going on, guys. Um, let's see. I got went to Buffalo over the weekend. Yeah, right, uh, well, let's... Yeah, we went to Buffalo over the weekend for the great Sam Buck. Shot a couple episodes up there at the um, Struggle Compound, courtesy of the great Struggle Mike. So that was dope. Dope uh, setup. Dope setup. Speaking of dope setup, they did like a little like weed festival and shit <laughs> up there. They had like, I don't know, like 20 booths, so to speak, of like yeah. edibles and weed. This um, one lady just kept giving me edibles because I just kept coming around being nice. That's always and fun. that's the way you do that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I consumed a ton of edibles. I'm starting to realize, though, uh, oh, I don't think edibles work on me anymore. Like, yeah, me neither. Like, it's just a waste of money. So, like, I mean, I didn't spend any money on edibles, thankfully. I did. Oh, well, that's not true. I technically, I did because I bought, like, a weed lemonade, but that was mostly just because it was delicious. It was, it was so good. good. It was fucking, like, crack cocaine good. It tasted like Hawaiian punch, dude. It was perfection. Right, I'm fucking name dropping like a motherfucker. Um, uh, so yeah, that was fun, you know. Um, the uh, they, you know they're so funny. They're, they're passing out, you know, like a bunch of pre rolls, which you know, I just biggest scam in the universe. I mean, that's why. Yeah, like, What's no, the scam no, on pre rolls? What? What's the scam on pre rolls? But just, I mean, they're, you know, they're not putting like the best shit in a if they if they're giving away free pre rolls and stuff, like they're probably like. The bottom scraps. I got a man. <sighs> you really gonna complain about free weed? No, 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 I'm not. But but like when, when they're at the white table, privilege. No, no, no. When they're at the, I'm, I, dude, I'll, I'll smoke whatever weed you put in front of me. But the fact that like they're sitting there at their table, being like, "Yo, my shit's better than everyone here. Try this," and they give you like a pre roll. It's like, okay, but you're not giving me the shit where you go like. That wasn't even the man that gave us the pre roll. But but every person is hyping their booth like that and naturally i mean you know you want to you wouldn't want as they're supposed to be doing right you know yeah yeah but then it's like when they give you some i mean like there was a guy that gave sam sam a drink from a different booth and he was like he was like it's 10 bucks but i tell you what he's like i'm so confident it's gonna get you high that if you don't feel high at all you can come back here i'll give you your money back and it was like an hour or two later sam was like yeah i don't feel high from this so it's just like you know you know i mean it's like what like crack out the good shit motherfucker i want to be wheeled out of here on a goddamn wheelchair. I want to drool on myself. Most people, though, don't have yours or Sam's or O's or my tolerance. Yeah. So why why are we being oppressed? <laughs> Does Sam have your tolerance? Go a though? fucking juice cleanser to get high on edibles. <laughs> Suck my dick. No, we just have to detox. Oh, from- <laughs> I got I got to spend. Let me just spend ten grand on edibles so that I can get enough to poison my body so that I feel something. No. Does Does Sam have a tolerance like you? No, no, because Sam, Sam fucking called us on the phone. Oh. When he took, 
Why? No, so no, maybe that let- edibles. No. So when it comes to smoking, yes, Sam has the same those tolerance. Those specific ones that he took like a week ago, those brownies. Those and he gave were... me two, and I they did jack fucking shit. So maybe he just he didn't. Broken. Maybe, maybe yeah. that that uh that uh, drink he bought was trash. Maybe it was just no, garbage. Even the brown dude, he called us. He called us one day when he would like had taken one of these brownies, like and and he we had spoken to him like an hour prior. <laughs> And he called us, and just right off the rip, you could tell he was fucked up, Jack. He was stoned to the gills, and he, like he was just My talking goofy person. to me. It was almost like he was like, it was it was like when you're stoned and like call or talk on the phone with your parent, but like I'm not his parent, but that's like what it felt like. Not not that I was not that I was scolding him or being parently, but it just felt like like when you're too like like you called your parents drunk, and you're like your parents are kind of like, but buddy, are you? Are you fucked up right now? Or like when your mom calls you and you're like definitely shit faced, but you it's like five o'clock and you're like, all right, be cool, be cool, be cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Because I would know what that's like. Oh, well, uh, you know, corporate life. Anyways. Um, but 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 like, hey, dog, I I ate two of those brownies. I didn't feel fucking anything, anything. <laughs> like the only time I can ever remember edibles working on me, legitimately. Is fucking like high school. There was these, there was these two brothers, the Amkamavongs, and they were, uh, yeah, it was a mouthful of the last name. What nationality is that? Laotian, Singapore. Some, they were from one of those kind of places, maybe. Okay. I might have just been racist. Could have been. I'm, I'm starting to bro. Maybe Vietnam. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But uh, there was, there was a uh, one that was in our grade. I'm not gonna say first names because I've said the last name. That's already too much. Uh, one was in our grade and one was two grades older. And my freshman year, we took uh, what brownies that his older brother made. And I mean, like, we were playing deck tennis in gym class. And I swear to God, like, the ball bounced and just froze there. I was like, F- dog, I was so fucking stoned. And then the ones that in, uh, the brother in our grade made when we were in junior year, I was having, like, legitimate out-of-body experiences. Like, I, at one point, I kept, like, jolting down like this because i thought i was floating above my body looking down at myself in the third perspective <laughs> and that was me like jumping back into my body the edibles like are- that's how str- and bro this was just fucking weed edibles it wasn't fucking like lsd or some crazy shit but it was like fucking psychedelic level like i was like and maybe it just set too high of an expectation maybe i'm broken now i don't know but it's like i've legitimately been chasing the dragon on edibles ever since and every time Every time I've been let down ever since on I an mean, edible. No ed- one has put an edible before me that is where I've gone, oh, I'm fucked up. When we had that cake that Lori made. It just made me tired, though. I didn't feel stoned. I don't feel stoned. I was pretty stoned. Like, you you, know you, you told me you told me you told me you felt the buzz. Uh, you felt stoned when I brought those uh, chocolate bars over. We had them together. Those were good. And the chocolate I made around Christmas. I felt those a little bit, but again, well, the ones you made, like the most. That was like a thousand milligrams, though, we ate, though. Yeah, but, it, but you know what I mean? It's like, okay, so I got to take a thousand just to kind of get the party started. Like, that's what that's what sucks. Like, it's kind of, then it just becomes so expensive, it's not worth it because the average person. The, the it's average, not like the you're supposed to fun. take edibles every day. It's supposed to be like a fun once in a while. It's who? I don't know. Nah, my uh, my homie, my homie told me um he he makes edibles for like you know as a business and shit. He makes a killing doing it. He told me um everybody varies. It's just everybody's different. You know, not everybody's the same. Um, well, like, Ro- yeah. uh, Rogan's producer Jamie has said before. He's like he took like three thousand before too, and he was like, yeah, I don't, I don't fucking feel anything. Right. And um, he told metabolism. He told me himself, he was like, yo, oh, if you want to see shit, I can give you I can give you the oil and you can just drink that shit. And that you shit will that fuck shit. you up. That shit. I we had a buddy in fucking uh, our buddy. Ch- uh, like was, coconut right? oil, butter, whatever. You know? Yeah. If you drink that shit straight, we had a buddy that was making edibles and he had he had just had extra of the straight oil. That they, uh, it's, it's just like THC oil, I think. And he fucking uh, he brought out a shot glass of it. For almost to get like a little sip. Fucking, we were all drinking and shit already. And our buddy, uh, Cody, who's his drummer, is this fucking funny ass finish. Get it. He just thought it was a shot. Oh he no. Just grabbed it and shot the whole thing. And I huh. mean, this motherfucker was like 30 Witness. minutes later, like rolling all over the ground and shit. And well, they like puke his brains out later. But he was, dude, he was fucking. 
I, my my Jack. my favorite experience with edibles, uh, like the like the most high I've ever been on THC was on edibles, and it was my favorite experience ever. It was amazing. Right. It was, so it was it was good. Um, brownies and um, we didn't know the dose on them. Um, I went over my uh, I went over the plug's house and the plug had like a bunch of like oil, just like you know how you describe, you know, like in a jar. And he was like, "Yo, this is from like you know mid grade weed, not like super potent, not trash." That's crazy, but I don't even have to be like crazy good stuff. It could just yeah, be yeah, like shit weed. He was like, "I don't know what to do with it, so I'm gonna make brownies." So he made brownies and he had like. Break probably like three trays of brownies, just so many brownies. And I know the dose on them. I was hungry as shit. So I just started stuffing my face with them. He's like, bro, have at it. I must have had 12 to like 15 brownies, bro. And I get home and it doesn't, it doesn't kick in until like on the ride home. So I'm like with my boy crime. <laughs> and then um I'm like, fuck, I'm hallucinating the whole way. The car is like floating like this. And shit's like going up and down, but like in a slow bubble motion, you know, like, you know, that's how old was that, last album. And then um, and then when I get home, uh, my girl's already asleep and I wake her up. I'm like, yo, babe, I'm so high. I'm so high. I see colors leaving my body and like different. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like it's just like rays of light leaving my honest, body. Though, dog, that's that's you, you just described like that's the level of high. It's like when. With yeah. edibles or like any of the psychedelics, it's like the key level of high is when colors start shooting in or out of your body. Mm -hmm. And and I'm trying to bring the streams of colors back into my body. My girl's like, "What the fuck are you reaching for, dude? You're bugging out." I'm about to call the ambulance, and I I, I turn to her and I say, "Whatever you do, do not call the ambulance. Yeah, don't just do that. Let me bitch. just let me let me go. Let me you know. Let me have fun." That's if how I die, bitch, you better you better wait to call someone until my heartbeat stops. My uh, first yeah. bad trip was kind of like that, where like I couldn't express that I was having a bad trip, but oh, there were impossible. parts of me that were like leaving my body, and I couldn't like grasp them, <laughs> and it was it's... so scary because I couldn't say that to anyone. Yeah. Oh my god. That's, that's, that's oh, I said about it. About it is it is it oh that, is, so bad? Is like that or like just uh, a. Th a Thought will you just, just sort thought of, like, I was being an asshole. It'll like, just start like leaving. It, 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 it literally is like that, though. It literally starts like traveling. And you're like, no, nah, nah, like come back, and then it's just gone. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe I didn't need those parts. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I thought I woke up the next morning just like, yo, I gotta do that shit again. Yeah, that was fun. Mm -hmm. And I it's never, I, I never back, went right? back to that place. Never went back to that place. It's impossible to get back off of weed edibles. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. so maybe you like you you only have like one good at like it's got to depend on the strand and like how but, the edible I, but is I, you made. know I've taken dude I've taken like when, when I'm giving you this timeline right like what I'm saying like when I was like tripping fucking balls okay mm. so you gotta figure I graduated 2011 so the the, the like 2010 was uh, in 2008 I guess would have been like the two years that like I fucking trip my fucking balls off on edibles and you've just been angry ever since uh, and i've no i've just been trying to obtain that level of high off of edibles since then from like you name it like it, any different fucking people that sell like crazy good weed and then you take their edibles and I, like uh, the, uh, <coughs> sam sounded fucked up off of those brownies didn't do shit to me. Alden used to make edibles, like like really good edibles. Everyone like, dude, they would like sell out. People loved his edibles. He came, he was like, yeah, dude, you want to try? He's like, I, I remember a day specifically. He was like, I ate half of one, and he was like, I got so uncomfortably high. He was like, I canceled all my like uh, appointments for the rest of the day with any like he he had like he had to meet up with like eight different people. He's like, I canceled all of that and I just laid in bed. I couldn't I couldn't move, and I was like. Yo, that sounds fucking tight. Let's go. I ate six of them. <laughs> <laughs> Felt nothing. Nothing. It's got to be it, your metabolism. But, but, but dude. you know what I mean? Because then it puts me in a, in a pissed off position. It's like not at all necessarily because like I believe that he was fucking like fucked up off of half of one. But then it's like if you spend the money for six of them, it's like I should be in a coma. And I'm not. Why? <laughs> Why am I able to articulate still? Like I, I should be fucking my 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 skeletal structure should have turned to liquid. <laughs> and yet here I stand at attention and upright with clear eyes and fucking 
anger a Bremen. Because a fucking edible can get me stoned like a normal human being. Do I need to go up to fucking, like, horse tranquilizers? Is that what it, like, fuck THC? Uh, I was, uh, I was in a... We're going to become wet heads. We're going to do PCP. No, I'm not. (laughs) I'm straight. Um, I used to sell wet. This is not fun. Um, listen, um... Ed, dude, I swear to God, you tell I learn something new about you like every six months. It's such a magical experience being your friend, and I love it. Yeah, I saw water. I saw I definitely saw water. Um, listen, I was in a dispensary recently, and they had this uh, candy bar that that's twenty five hundred milligrams for hundred bucks. I'm about to cop it and see what's up. But that's my thing, right? Say I eat. Say you eat that. So you buy it could it. be three thousand. I gotta look it up. I'm gonna look it up right now. Let's Go say ahead. it's three thousand. You buy it, hundred bucks. Boom. Let's say you don't feel jack shit. Oh, except you get like sleepy and you just have like a fucking nap, or you just you know I mean you sleep for fucking ten hours and you pass out and wake up the next day. It's like, are you gonna feel that hundred dollars is worth it? Because I'm gonna be fucking angry if I. Do. I'll be angry. Yeah, I'll, I'll be angry. I, I yeah, be, but are I you gonna be, take like, that that like hundred dollar edible and like sit on your couch? Or are you gonna go do some fun activity? Either way, it shouldn't matter. I, me? I, I, I want to plan a bunch of stuff for me to take this and go, fuck, I cannot leave this house right now. <laughs> I'm on their website right now. Yeah. I want to be able to plan all that shit and go, fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I, no, I don't even go to bed, but even just like put some fucking music on, play, try to play a video game, something mindless and just yeah. like, where I can be fucking like. Ugh. We should do shrooms tonight. I want to be so fucking high on edibles. No, we shouldn't do shrooms tonight. Why not? There's a bunch of shit to do tomorrow. What are you talking about? Not till later. 80 and above. Yeah, I, I don't want to because the only shrooms we have left are, I have, I swear to God, I'm not even going to be funny, I have no idea where they came from. They're not the dust stuff, and it's not Sam Buck shrooms. So. And it's not that person that we used to work with. It's not Sam Buck's what? No. Okay, yeah. It's not Sam Buck's what? What'd you say? Oh, I just like I, 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 the shrooms that I have, I, 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 uh, that I had, I like, I don't know, like, where they came from. So it's like, okay, I don't, I don't remember where they're from. Not that it, like, it really matters. They're definitely shrooms, but it's just like, you know, you want to remember where okay. you got your shrooms from. So I'm kind of saving them. They're, they're house shrooms. If someone goes, I'm like, I'd love they're shrooms. house shrooms. We shouldn't have house shrooms. <laughs> That's not. The fuck? It's, it's literally like two mushrooms. This isn't like nothing. Else. I don't see the maybe, thousand. Maybe, I don't see the scream about mushrooms in our fucking house. You know we do have neighbors. Uh, you know, <laughs> podcast. No. All this is alleged. This is the mushroom podcast where we talk about fungi. Yeah, that's that, it. That fantastic. Um. Did Did you see the stuff that's going around the um the fungus drinks the uh, fungi drinks. Fungi drinks. What? Is yeah, that? they're mud uh, drinks. Drinks made out of mushrooms, and they're supposed to, you know, trip you out and shit. Oh, like it's I'm psilocybin a, in the psilocybin. Like drinks. tea. Yeah, I'm gonna try oh. to get you some. It's in it's in your neck of the woods. So. Okay. That's kind of dope. That's kind of dope. That's interesting. But you know, I'll think I about it because. Feel like I. You don't do shit have... for me. I'm I'm ready for my eighth of mushrooms. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. I know I say that now, but I like the thing is there in the front of my brain, and I know what it is, and I'm ready to solve it. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm straight. I'm. I'm going with weed. I ain't doing nothing. I can't. Remember. I had a pill addiction. That shit. That shit was terrible. I can't remember. Do you? Do you do or have you done mushrooms? No, I haven't done cocaine. I haven't done mushrooms. I haven't done pills. I mean, ecstasy. I've done like prescription pills and shit. I was addicted to that shit. That was it. But that was after I got shot. I kicked it. It was pretty, pretty, pretty cool to kick. So you, so you wouldn't. It was, you it was wouldn't tough. Try, you wouldn't try mushrooms or even like microdosing it. Yes, I would. Oh, you would. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I would. I, I, I would have. I, I was not. <laughs> I was, I, I was so passionate right then. I was felt uh, excitedly compelled to use like a slur or something. She's like, "Bro, why have we not done it together?" No, I would. If, if, you know, if it's like organic and shit, yeah, I would definitely would. Yeah, I, I said I'm not. Buy, I'm. I'm, I'm not too. 
I'm I'm not too keen on acid. That shit's lab made and shit. I don't I don't know. I'm not really about doing that. I haven't done it. I'm not really uh, interested it depends in doing on, it. Depends on the source. I know two two three people that I would 100 percent trust the source, but it, it's really just that. Like, here's the thing, right? It's like if you're dealing with some. I'll shit, take the vaccine, but I won't do acid. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> that, I get I get my second shot tomorrow, so I'll be fine. I'll probably die from it. Um. No, you won't. Uh, the um, but it, it's like you know, if you're dealing with difficult shit, it's like you're still gonna kind of deal with it on mushrooms, but you can kind of negate that a little bit. If you're on acid, y- you're not. It's not hiding. <laughs> you will. You will. Anything that needs to get addressed. Your pupils get all wide and shit. And you're well, it's, it's super it's, dilated. Acid like forces you to confront the things that you don't want to confront. Yeah. Like, like, why do I, why, why do I want to take that drug? What the fuck? <laughs> confront the things I, I don't want to confront. So I'm gonna call my mom and yell at her. You bitch! No, no, I don't no, I mean bitch. internally. I don't oh, mean fuck. Like, like that. Oh, internally. Yeah, I'm not like, taking that. Like, I, like the best way to describe it is honestly, like there was there was this drug shaman in Finland. I was this always stuck with me, but he said to me, uh, he's like, there's no such thing as bad trips, only difficult ones. Because it was like, even if you have a bad trip, you will come out of it. Like, it's only bad because you were fucking freaking out in your mind dealing with whatever you were trying to deal with. Here's the thing. Um, I want to be around people, you know, when I do it, but I don't trust people. So it's it's just hard for me. You have yeah, to do so, it in so, like a soft space. Like, oh, we would just do it with like Here. the three of us or maybe like us and Sam or some shit. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to like add or any more. One, uh, one of us has to be sober. I'm not. Wow. One of us has to be the adult right. to watch us to no, make we'll sure just, we don't we'll go running. We'll just no, you because won't go running. You'll be fine. It's you because I don't want to go running into the streets in New York like a mad no, dog. To be honest with you, if if we were if we were doing acid, I would agree with you. Someone should be sober for, for that. But, when when I first took room. shrooms, uh, oh, I thought, like, I thought I thought I thought we were still talking about acid. My bad, I didn't know too much. No, 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 I'm not trying. Oh to yeah, do acid. dude, if we do acid, dog, like one of us, on, it'll be I'll the be sober, sober because I'm not trying to do it. No, I'm not. Trust me, me and you will be sober. On, I'm not doing anything. The first time I did shrooms, it was in here, like after we moved to New York, and we were outside when it hit me. Hang on a sec. Oh, you're like echoing a little bit. I can hear Ani's voice in yours. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. how about how about now? now okay, now we're good. Um, and I was looking like we were in Tompkins Square Park, and I was looking out into the street because we were walking towards the street, towards the sidewalk, and the street did this, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh that's what that feels like and we just went home and Dude, it wasn't it's... bad and it didn't it actually felt really cool because i was like that's cool to see i know that that's not real and I... that i'm just on drugs like that it's that, fun that's why i think i was so like into it from the rip like i didn't have a bad experience even though i took like a lot my first time is because like i just i was so ready to see like i'd ta- i'd actually I taken, wanted to see I'd, shit. I'd taken acid actually before Ooh. i took mushrooms there was a time that my buddy chases me my buddy James uh, and CJ, who we had all taken acid and chased me watching us. But, like, I don't think we – I never like to say we don't – we didn't take enough because it's like – I really don't think you can microdose acid, to be honest with you. Like, maybe a little bit, but, like, you know, when you microdose mushrooms, you can kind of, like – Yeah. You're like, I don't really – like, you might – it's like, it's, it's like it, it feels wrong to call it microdosing because it's like you still feeling some shit jack like yeah. like very much like it, there's a lot more of like i'm keeping it together on acid even if microdosing it and uh how do you microdose acid well i mean like i get you could technically i guess like i don't know how you do it with a strip like maybe you take half you could you could take a strip and like split it in half and take half a tab <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it, it's, but it's still like once it gets in, like you're still like, you're gonna, you're gonna trip. It's just not gonna. It won't nah. be as intense, but it's it's still it's like, it's a little easier to sort of eye it out on mushrooms than it is on acid. But like again, no, well, like, the thing about acid is it's like I really don't think you can kind of just like cat. You know, I, I like acid is like a casual drug. It's like I like. Even if you're going to a party and stuff, it's like, yeah, that's great. But it's like, you, there's still just such a higher percentage that you're going to have some, like, mental shit to do. Like, I feel like unless you're going, hey, let's, let's have, like, a fucking chill, like, acid trip where, like, we're hanging out at the house. We listen to some music. Maybe we got, like, 
tea going and stuff and we're just hanging out like we might <laughs> some shit it might be weird or whatever did versus like did you hear public. about the like, uh tripping sorry go ahead. in public is like that that's kind of like not insane to me but it's just it's a lot based on the acid experiences safe space. well that's, I safe mean, space. Most, almost almost all of my acid experiences have been in a like just in one room and i see like the closest to not that was like in finland like we went out to the woods watched the sunset and then like we were starting to feel it kick in as like the sun was setting we all had a moment we looked at each other and we're like well, we should get back now and then yeah. we did and then like i just remember like getting onto the street literally like like with acid is so intense where it's like say we got on fifth street right or like we got on fucking uh we we oh no right we get on we we get on uh empire state building block we like we see it it's at the end of the block Mm -hmm. (laughs) we just start walking towards it like it it starts to feel like you're just walking in place or like not that it's even necessarily stretching out in front of you but it's just like you're like, I've had you, those moments on mushrooms. Yeah, but it, dude, it gets so intense. Like on, stressed like, out, like, like the, stretched the, out. The person, like, like to me, like time, like the way I felt on acid was like, if time is this like, I don't say like wormhole, but there's like this, there's this tunnel that we're all like moving through of like time and shit. Acid made it feel like I could like step outside that and look back into it, and just like time doesn't feel like a thing at all on acid. Different dimensions, you know. It's yeah, and 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 that's also like okay, are we talking like closed eye visuals are open because like i've done acid trips where like you know i've just been eyes open talking with everyone i've had ones where I, like i blindfolded myself and like i just do stayed in that realm until it I, was like too much to handle or it was over i really like to do like a guided mushroom <laughs> trip like by a legitimate mm-hmm. person um sam keeps hyping dmt and shit right now but it's like i, I just i think i accidentally took dmt once and, that's what he said that I, he thinks it is. I think that that you would, was you would, Because I sound saw like an some. Dude, this is a setting, right? Ani, have you ever watched a video of someone taking DMT? I've watched people take DMT in front of me. Yeah, they leave their bodies. You didn't leave your body. I saw other people leave their body and heads become serpents and salamanders. And that Sal- wasn't. It was weed. probably salvia. Maybe. That was much more likely it was salvia Maybe. than DMT. Maybe. Especially if it's in a joint. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, salvia, I don't know, salvia, man. Salvia, you break up very similar. Honestly, I didn't even think it was anything oh. but weed until recently when him and I were talking about this and we're like, oh, it's I definitely think, more think, than just I fucking think, weed. Oh, dude. It was probably, I think it was way less likely it was DMT. Yeah. Well, um, people's heads legitimately turned into like dragons and because, like fucking. Because, ready, ready for example, that, that trip in Finland, that same trip before we took the acid, they had DMT and I smoked it and like. I didn't do enough to break through, I guess, but like nothing really happened other than I felt like everything seemed way more HD. That's all I really felt. Like it was even like at a low grade. Like what I'm saying is like you would no, have, have you would have either left, memory. yeah, you would have left your body or you would have not hallucinated really like that. I don't think like yeah, that, that's like I mean I've only hallucinated a couple times in my life and that it's fucking fun though fucking dude. <laughs> Dude, the, the road shit is crazy like being in a car i don't recommend like i remember going around a loop in like boston kind of near the train station when you go to south station like this big turns and it just felt like the literally like first of all it felt like if we're if we're just going like, around to like a casual like turn first of all it felt like the car like came off the road like up like started hovering above the road and like turned a little bit like the angle and then we were just kind of like doing like an uh off the ground like tokyo drift kind of like slowly around the turn but then the curve of the turn and the road kept just like this part of like the turn just kept extending out farther and farther into oh infinite God. infinity i mean like driving down just a block in boston it looked like someone just literally did a cut and paste of a singular block over and over and over and over again like it's just an infinite loop of the same block i'd look at the radio to see like what song was playing and individual letters would start spinning <laughs> and rotating in and around like it was just like oh you're not reading this right now sir that's not a thing yeah i don't know why you try to read on yo yo i will try micro dosing acid and watching that duncan trussell show on netflix i keep hearing that shit's oh, amazing on acid. Dude, do it that's what we did the first time i, I did the first mushrooms. time i took shrooms we <laughs> watched a midnight gospel and it was the fucking best experience i 
loved it because I loved the intensity of it. But like we had the opposite well, experience because I, I took they took like one gram and I took two. I and still I mean, like that tension. Like, but yeah, but there was moments where we're sitting here on this couch, and like, like that TV. And obviously this was in the last place, but like even well, just the same doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah. It would be the same situation here. That TV felt like it was this close to my face, and I hadn't moved from the couch. And then I'd blink, and it would be like there was the the room was. Well, like, I mean, was it a, was it like small, was it and, was it good like to watch with like oh, yeah, no, yeah. It, like honestly, was the animation? It was, it was so fun. good. It was just the Soul Prison episode was so heavy <laughs> on psychedelics. That I it, loved it. It was like, and then, and then with how tiny the room was becoming, that's really what the problem was. The room was getting fucking small for me. Dude. That's why I haven't watched it yet. I'm it waiting was, to be high on drugs to watch my, it. My nose might have well been touching the TV screen. It was that's how close that wall had inched towards the couch. Like I was oh like, God. I was like, guys, I gotta stop. It's because I'm not, I'm not leveling off. The fucking plane's still climbing, and I'm, I'm at the point where like, okay, for where I'm at right now, this is. <laughs> Joey, did you hear about the uh, guy in Florida that was high on mushrooms and killed uh, a father over his son while they were on vacation? Yeah, I read that story. I, I is it confirmed that it was mushrooms? Because I just I don't believe he said there were mushrooms. He said, he said that he took mushrooms, but like okay, but did yeah. he have any pre-existing conditions? What were the other like basically factors? for context? What happened too is guy came into a, a a restaurant or something, and there was like this. Uh, basically the guy that died was like this dad that was down there with his two kids and the, the, the dude walked in it was allegedly on mushrooms and shit and like started waving a gun around and then put the gun like to the, the aimed the gun at like the, the little boy and shit and then the dad that's when the dad like got up and was like what the fuck man and then the guy pointed the gun at him and he was like he's just a child and then the guy shot him okay but so, like, was so, it just mushrooms? Th that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Mushrooms. I don't think so. Mushrooms it's crazy. Make you do he, he, but but like I said, you know, but it's same, different for everybody. I don't at know. Same, at the same time, Vikings took mushrooms to, and worked themselves into a frenzy before battle, and it made them more effective. So like, you know, you can't. I can't say thing. it's. I wouldn't say it's impossible to like have if, the motivation to kill on mushrooms you if never you're know. gonna do mushrooms or psychedelics like if you're starting off and you haven't really done it before personally i think you should go in with like a quote-unquote intention even if it's not like a big one or whatever you have to have some kind of like thing that your mind to go back to just be you cool know? man it, it, just be cool dude it's it's like it's like you know hey maybe i'm ignorant here but it's like i don't get how you people don't gotta get, go outside you know, I mean, I was gonna take it a different direction. It's like, I, like I don't really get how someone gets like hooked into fucking like meth or heroin and shit. It's like, hey man, just smoke weed and drink. Be cool. Like I get it. We all have problems. Some people's parents are dead. Some people want to kill themselves. Some people are predisposed to are to addiction. Sure. In which case, hey, you know what? Maybe drugs aren't for you. But like, I just like don't fuck it up for everyone else. Everyone, just be cool. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I, I smoke my weed, a drink. I'll do occasionally mushrooms and other like little fun drugs here and there. This has been a public service announcement. Like, just don't be an just asshole. Cool. I'm so tired. Like, like, cause now we're gonna because now you know a bunch of fucking dickheads and they they just passed all that legislature to get like medical uh mushrooms and stuff like that. And like, I'm sure fucking a bunch of dickheads are gonna use like, well, look at this guy took mushrooms and shot a fucking dad, and now there's these fatherless children. It's like. Yeah, but that guy's a fucking cunt. He shouldn't have taken that. And and it probably wasn't. I'm still not convinced it was mushrooms. He also, probably did PCP or crack or some crazy shit. Mushrooms doesn't really want to make you kill Also, people. was this in like a large touristy Florida area? Like, shit. where? It was in Miami. Yeah. <clears throat> very, very peculiar. The details about it was fucked up. How he, um, and you know when what? he shot him, he was dancing over his body and shit and celebrating. That was fucked up. And you know what? It's very possible it was mushrooms. And. And guess what? It's not the mushrooms' fault if you give if, if, if a psychopath takes mushrooms. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like it's still a psychopath. You've just heightened that with the mushrooms. So it's like, I mean, you could say he's a psychopath, but do we know that he was twenty one years old supposedly? Never got arrested. If, so if you if you go into a place and in a non in a non defensive manner, you are the aggressor with a gun and you shoot and kill a person. You are by definition a psycho. A normal sane person if, does not commit. Murder. Even if, 
even if your uh, your mind is altered and you're, it's your first time being altered like that, I mean, I mean, you thing. definitely shouldn't have access to a gun while you're on psychedelic drugs. That That's it's thing. Florida. You have access to everything in I Florida. I know, but that doesn't mean it's right. So, so, <laughs> so he's an irresponsible. No, it's right in Florida. An irresponsible gun owner, and people that gave him a gun should be under massive review, and their license for distributing firearms should be paused because they gave they they clearly did not do a good enough job doing a background check on a guy if he was willing to I'm take. I'm all for mushrooms. having a gun. Just hey, again, be I, cool. Yeah, if I had my gun and if i had guns and shit you know what i do I, and i was gonna do mushrooms oh, it, 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 but, but if and I go i'm just saying and i go hey for no reason at all don't give me this key back until tomorrow what, what if that was me and, and that happened to me and i never shot nobody in the face before am i a psychopath because i did it one time if it was me if it was your boy is is, is it am i a psychopath i mean now, i mean let, here's the next layer of that question right i mean i don't know I mean, I don't know, like, how much altering or how bad the dose was or how much he well, did, that, you know that, what I'm saying? That's but, the like, thing, right? Because it's like, if he took, like, there's more to that. Story. If he ate a whole ounce of mushrooms by himself, I mean, he's going to be clinically insane. Uh, but I mean, probably not. There's people that have eaten an ounce, but like, why you would ever do that is like, God damn, an like, ounce. You know, oh, 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 I've had like life altering fucking trips from two grams of mushrooms. So, like, you know what I mean? There's there was a guy that on one of Sam's podcasts that ate seven grams and did the interview, and it's it was a, hilarious. And, and it's a hilarious episode. It's fucking great, but it's also like, do you know how anxiety inducing? Oh, the the idea to me of taking seven grams is like that's scary. Like to me, I'm like, hey, the most I've I, I really like would ever like push the limits with is like an eighth. An eighth Whoa. dog that will fucking like you will get the full experience from that. But really, if you if you really first time, I I typically say, hey, do like one one gram. Well, I just That's watched that right. movie. I just watched that movie with Little Ralph uh, and John Cena on HBO Max, and they did shrooms and that shit, mm-hmm. and that shit looked funny as fuck. It looked fun. Hey, you want to know honestly, so. like. To, if you want to get John Cena on mushrooms is hilarious, by the way. Did they actually do it or is it acting? <laughs> it's acting, but you know, he if he looked fucked up. I, if you it, honestly, the best visual representation of like the vibe of mushrooms is the workaholics episode where they do mushrooms in the office. Like whenever they yeah. like, they do like a cut and it's like them like when they're like really tripping and you see the, like the coloring and the 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 way shit looks, it's like re- that shit to me is like really accurate. I love that show. Oh, we just finished we it just last finished night. Watching all of it, yeah. We did all the seasons. But you mean for your first time? Mm-hmm. First time yeah, I actually because oh. I had I uh, after season like three or four, I definitely hadn't seen every episode. I would say now, like watching the those remaining seasons, I had seen probably like forty percent of those episodes. Mm-hmm. But there was a lot of those I'd still like to never seen. What should we watch next? You're asking me. Well, okay, here's the problem, Ready is she doesn't want to watch a fucking a cartoon one next, and I'm trying to think of a, we I guess. You can watch a Simpsons next. I, Do you want to say, watch a drama? Something with some, like, something to make you cry? She doesn't want, like, that kind of shit. She prefers, like, funny or some kind of element No, of it that. can be a drama. No, what I mean by make you cry, I mean, like, when the cat, like, season two, when one of the characters get thrown out the window, would that make you cry? Like, you want to watch a series like that? Because there's some good ass shit you can watch. Well, that's the thing. Through. Like, she hasn't watched Game of Thrones. She hasn't Breaking Bad. You haven't watched. Um... I've watched up until like the one of the couple first episodes where there's like the blood bath. Like, she she hates like gore. And I don't. Stuff, yeah, so. I can't do. I am such a Useless. pussy when it comes to gore. Here's one that you might think it's fucking stupid, but I love this show. Um, what we do in the shadows. I fucking love that show. Oh, you know what? I've yet to watch that, but I've been interested. That show in is hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> I'm, a big, I'm a big Matt Barry fan. Yo, watch watch the uh, movie first, and then watch the show. Because the movie came out in 2005, prior to the show, and the movie is amazing. So, if you like, yeah. if you like Matt Barry, there's there's some shows I can send you that he's he did that were really fucking funny. Like there's, he plays a really fucking funny and ish character called the IT Crowd, and then there was there's this one show that there's only like five episodes of it, but it's like a, uh, it's like a, 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 I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like they they're 
The show is like a um, director's cut of this TV show that this made up famous author like directed, starred, and wrote, and it's like a, a hospital, but there's like paranormal shit that happens in it, and it's just like really purposefully terrible special effects and like oh, Garth Marenghi's Garth Marenghi's Dark, Dark Place. Place. Yeah, how you go? You've watched that shit? Uh, a couple episodes. <laughs> um so, nah he's a good actor like i follow him on like other like he does a lot of voiceover shit so um yeah. who's that mighty uh um uh what's that shit disenchantment he's in that shit um oh really I on netflix that. yeah uh, uh the, he uh, plays the futurama one right the uh the creators of that or some of the creators made matt groaning yeah yeah matt groaning made that one um with the girl from broad city um oh that's why that show sucked got it that makes sense I'm not even whoa no I because I I, 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 I I love those understand. chicks I was like why does this show because I watched a couple episodes I'm like why does this show suck and Futurama was so good and I never realized it was which one from Broad City the uh the poofy haired one Abby Jacobson is that the, the the thicker one uh the one with straight hair non curl oh god yeah, she's Abby a, Jacobson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, that's she's the I one that's working. I love that show. I think this shit's fucking great. You're wild. I yeah, love, she, but she I love garbage seen, shows. So she hasn't good. seen Simpsons yet, and she hasn't seen. We did all uh, Bo, South Park. We did all South Bo Park. Jack is fire. Yeah. Um, she she needs to see um Simpsons and King of the Hill are the two major ones that she hasn't seen, and then. There's shit. Archer's like, fire. I was gonna say Archer. She watched like an episode of Archer like months and months ago and was like uh on it, but like she's fucking I'll give crazy. It another You'll get chance. Into it. Archer's amazing. I'll probably um I like Bob's burgers. It's so. just it's all H. John Benjamin being H. John Benjamin. That's that's, that's just the magic dog. I need like another fat seventy show. Yeah. No. Yeah, but I, I that's the thing. It's like at that point, like let's just watch that '70s show again, right. I guess. But oh well, then just watch Married with Children. There you go. See, I had said that also. Married with Children is a fucking classic. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, Man, well, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I've been watching on Hulu recently. Fuck, it's a bunch of garbage. Uh-huh. It is mostly garbage. Mm-hmm. Like we went through mostly. it all last yeah, night. Prime, list, Hulu, Netflix. Everything. It's mostly garbage. Oh, or, Prime. Prime. The boys. Watch the boys. She doesn't like oh, gore, though. That's the thing. Is other... But it's not really gory. It's kind of like dramatic, too. Like, you know, there's like dirt going on, you know, there's drama and shit. It's, it's cool. That's fair. Um, Just watch the boys. Fuck you. I've been Invincible. Invincible's Invincible is fucking amazing. She, will, she definitely will not watch Invincible. I watched that it. show is cool. Crazy good. Watch it by yourself. I power watched. When you're asleep, bitch. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, man, it's a bunch of good shit. Mm -hmm. Or just go watch the Handmaid's Tale, bitch. Fuck. Ugh, I don't want to watch that. Not you, her. No. Yeah, go, go, fucking enjoy woman shit, you woman. I did start watching this this dumb show just to have on background, but like it's called Never Have I Ever. And I'm pretty sure it's like an Indian like chick. She's like a sophomore in high school, or whatever. Basically, me in high school, just like Ew, you wanting. You better not be an Indian chick. No, no, no. She just she, the plot is like you know helicopter mom, or whatever, foreign, la la la, and like she just wants to fuck. That's on Netflix, right? Yeah. Yeah, I seen the preview. That she looks trash. Yeah, it is yeah. trash, but it is kind of my life. Um. Yeah. That's uh. Did you watch um uh, um that uh fucking um fucking movie that uh this this dude's last movie uh the guy that made uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh. Uh, Once upon a time in Hollywood. You seen that? I still haven't seen that. Oh my fucking god! What are y'all doing with yourself? <laughs> Is it that good? No, it's it's official. Watch that and watch the new. Uh, yeah, I mean, now nah, don't watch the new. You know what they did? League. They did my boy Bruce dirty in that movie. I don't know if I could fucking watch that shit. Who? Bruce dog, the almighty Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee dog. They did a mad dirty in that movie. I don't know if I'm about that. It's a it's a fictitious film. It's not based on anything real. Stupid. I don't know, dude. They did my boy dirty. That's mad disrespectful. 
who gives a fuck? They made him seem like they a made him look like an asshole. Yeah, nobody, and then they nobody have, like, cares. Beat his ass in the movie, and it's like that. Definitely none of that happened. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Chinese there try are, had, try had there, Listen, listen, listen. There are stories of Bruce Lee getting his ass kicked. Don't get it twisted. For sure. I mean, the man wasn't invented. Don't get it twisted. And the guy, and the broke. guy that they saying, and the guy that they saying that did it is one of the toughest motherfuckers to ever live, bro. You gotta understand that. Ass. I'm not scared of him. Fighting no, him. no, I'm no, fighting no, him right he, now, no. He's a champ. He's a oh. champion wrestler and all that, bro. Great. You can't. And you I'll, cannot. I'll break, and I'll break his old brittle spine right now. Nah, nah. That dude will put you in a. A he's, onion ring right now, he's, bro. He's what? Sick. He'd put you in a pretzel. Onion ring. Bullshit. He'd put you in a pretzel right now. I will hold him on the ground and fuck his butt. And then I'll call Charismatic up and I'll be like, make this man respect you. And then he'll um, his way with him. You have to say, witness my power. Wait, right I, I, yeah. I, I, and scream, witness my power. I said once upon over. a time in Mexico. No, once upon a time in Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to make t-shirts. She still has to see fucking Django and Hateful Eight and shit. Hateful Eight sucks. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. This shit's dragged and it's boring as fuck. It's a it's a fucking western. They all drag. Bro, is that the one? Is that the one we're in the saloon the whole time? It, it's in a cabin in the snow, not a saloon, but there are, it's the one that's in, garbage, know, garbage, fucking, garbage. Right now, garbage. The worst. That's probably the no. worst one. That shit's the worst. Uh. Mm-hmm. Who is Cliff Booth based on? That I'm guy. Inclined, I'm inclined to agree with that statement that it's probably his worst one, but I don't think it's a bad film. I, you know what's weird? I did see though. Oh, is there some like extended version? And I went to hover over it, and it was like season one. So like, I don't know if they managed to film so much extra content for that movie. That they were like, let's make a it one. It said there season. was like a director's cut version, so maybe there's like an intro to it and then the actual. Thing. Then, then they're a fucking cunt for saying a season. Suck my dick. Anyone that you know what else? Anyone that that does a podcast by Gene Labelle. Gene Labelle would murder Bruce Lee, bro. He would murder him. No, he, he would, his, yo, he would grab Gene. him by, <laughs> yo, bro. He would grab him by his neck and squeeze the life out of him with one hand. And Bruce one hand, would, bro. Would, would fucking box his bro, shit up, dog. Bro, there are stories about lean about Gene LaBelle squishing an apple without fixing it, bro. Like with one wow. hand. Hey, you can't do that. You I can't do that. High school that could do that. You can No, he couldn't. And I no, he make couldn't. this applesauce. And I teabagged that kid. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Mitch knows who he is. He fell asleep on the dock one time. He was showboating because he was squeezing apples with one hand. And I dropped my apples on his face in front of son, the entire crew son, team, allegedly. Gene LaBelle will have Bruce Lee chewing his fucking teeth, his own teeth. Well, that'd be really what easy God. because he's a corpse. But I guess we'll never know. I'd fuck Gene Did LaBelle Did you really right just now. go up to someone while you were on the crew team in high school and fucking put your balls and dick so, in his face so to be and you were gonna white i believe it for that episode of that fucking story yeah you never watched um what is it oh waiting where they're doing like goading and the batman and shit yeah, yeah, yeah i've seen waiting yeah waiting. i've seen waiting it's okay a good movie. so in, yeah that that became a big thing that uh that it's funny as fuck yeah it was a, it's a funny ass movie we watched that at some point it's all it's obviously about wait staff and and one of the kitchen guys talks about they have these games that they play in the kitchen and shit where like you do shit like like oh, he he's showing the new guy like the different moves you can do. He, he's like, first of all, he's like, we love creativity. So if you come up with something new like that, I'll be bonus points. But he's like, he's like, first I got for you is like we call this one the brain, and he pulls just his fucking. Let's see, I can do this. I'm not on camera. Oh, the Spanish dude, the Spanish dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the funny, his name's like Luis Guzman. For the Luis audio Guzman. listeners, his penis is out. Oh God, his Luis balls Guzman. are out. So like you'd be like over there like he's holding. Hey, shut up! I'm talking to you, bitch. You'd be like over there in the kitchen, like doing something right. And I'd be like, uh, hey, Ani, like, what do you think of the salad? And you turn around and just see this. And then, boom, you just got brain. So like, <laughs> but, but this thing, I would do this not to you. You would do this to another man. And then you'd be like, aha, you looked at my nuts. You're a faggot. Turn <laughs> around. And then I kick you in the ass a bunch of times because you looked at my nuts, you homo. So there was like the brain. There was one called the uh, the bat. It was all they called the Batman or the Batwing where you would just grab the testicle like meat and just stretch it the out. The meat, just stretch it out. Yeah. Um, and then you got to make the... Uh, one of the, and the, the bat noise and then the top the top pointage you would get was for um goading someone which is like you would 
you you would be like doing a rocking motion so you get your nuts back and catch them so that <laughs> and then you'd turn around and you'd pull your pants down so they see your ass, but your nuts are are squeezed here. So when you moon them, your nuts are so showing like you're pale, like back of a fucking girl. gross. How pale you are! Ugh. Yeah, you love it. Disgusting. So and so, you know, that was working. Fleshy like white so. chicken, uncooked and, chicken. And, and I was like, Ugh. and uh, and so I had just like I I think this was probably like Ford or my buddy Anthony actually was like, uh, you should go goat. Um, you're you're pretty pale too, faggot. I saw you bring your pants down there. I am, ain't I? Let me see. I, I can't wait for a supervisor to walk in and just see him taking his clothes off on camera. Supervisor's gone after three. Suck my dick. Okay. Yes. <laughs> He's just fucking. Can you imagine that they walk in? Oh, it's just got. I think I've been doing it all time. I'm typing at work. I'm doing paperwork right now. <laughs> you're my favorite. It sucks. <laughs> Oh All right, should we what, what, should we do, do a couple of quick fucking good cunts and get out of here? Mm, go ahead. We got about, about 20 summits. I was like, All right, yeah, cool. All right, let's do some good cunt, bad cunt. All right, let's see. We got some fucking, we got some goodies here, Mr. Overtime Often. Mr. M. Newton got released by the Patriots. Woo! Well, that's not really a good cunt, bad cunt, but we could do that if you want. What do you think? Patriots, good cunt, bad cunt? <laughs> Do you think he's a good con or a bad con for not taking the uh for not taking the uh the vaccination? Because that's why he got cut, pretty much. Really, Cam even got cut because he wouldn't take the vaccine. Well, every every team is forcing and forcing players to take vaccinations or they won't play. Because last year when he got COVID, they had to put a, put the season aside. For, I mean, the games aside for like two weeks, so they don't want to put no more games aside and reschedule because of his bitch ass. So they cut his ass. I don't know, man, because it's it, it's such a difficult thing because I don't know. Like I heard one guy make the argument it's like medical apartheid to like basically force medical decisions on people, but but it's kind of like okay. Can we just pre-COVID to go to certain countries and shit? You have to get like certain vaccines. It's very fair. Very yes, you do. I to enter like, certain parts of Africa, but, you can't enter but, certain parts of Africa but, but, without being Asia and, or, or Asia. I, I don't disagree with necessarily that. South America. I don't necessarily disagree with that for international travel. However, let's be honest. Most of the people, most I would argue, are people that are probably not leaving the country much. They're probably people that at best maybe go a couple states away once a year or so. I I, I feel you, but this country gets visited more than any other country in the world bro so you have so many foreigners coming in and out in and out i mean don't let's you want to defend yourself say, from these fucks let's say you live in fucking especially you in new york city you you, you live in like yeah the no, biggest you know what i i would but let's say you're north dakota or something like that right like i i see much more a better argument for i don't want to say forced vaccines but i said like mandating it heavily more heavily in new york versus a like north dakota i just I don't know, like, there's if there's, if someone's a fucking hermit and they're not really going out other than to, like, I just go out to get my groceries and fucking, other than that, I just, I'm in my house kind of shit, like, I don't know, should they have to fucking get the vaccine? Honestly, I think it just depends on your personal situation I just don't think and your personal to. health. I think it's kind of fucked up, let's say it's a instance where, like, for his health reasons, like, his body doesn't react well with the vaccine and that's a known thing and he can't get it. And that's kind of fucked that they have to like cut him or whatever. Well, but what I mean. if it's, it's like, just taking a stance, that's not the no, case. you're not going to tell me what to do. Well, everybody else on this team is doing this. There's no I in team. But what does happen in uh, that instance, right? Like if you if you can't get the vaccine because you're immunocompromised and you go into a bar or something and they're like, show us your vaccine card. And you're like, well, I'm not vaccinated because of X, Y, Z, like they're gonna just gonna tell you go fuck yourself like no not... they just tell you that you have to be served outside okay so like what if that's not an option what if they don't have outdoor dining i don't know i think that's not the restaurant's mandate though right and that's what i'm saying is like i don't really necessarily think the restaurant's an asshole but i think that it's it's just a i just i feel like hey the people that are vaccinated you get vaccinated you're good wear a mask still if you're worried if not i think if you want to get vaccinated and or wear a mask, like who gives a shit outside of something like say an Uber maybe, or I guess maybe a grocery store because like we don't need to be breathing on food. 
Like, but uh, like outside of that, I just I don't really see a fucking need to enforce it that heavily. Who gives a shit? Like, if I, if I'm that worried, I get the vaccine. I wear two masks. I stay the fuck home. If I'm really that worried, if I'm if I'm that fucking worried that even with all of those precautions, I'm still worried. Don't go outside, dude. Outside's no longer for you. <laughs> Become a, fucking, a roof become a fucking mole person. Go underground. Nah, dude. You got to go all out, ball out, get a roof deck, get a little patio, and that is your outside. And that's it. And that's it. You go out, you have a pina colada on your deck, and that's it. That's the most sun you get. Yep. And then you don't bog us down with terribleness. <laughs> all right. Good cunt, bad cunt. <laughs> In a world where there are cunts of all types. Good cunt, bad cunt. What do we think of these guys making the most of their COVID experience? Anthony Sutfield still like what? First of all, he looks so averse to this. What? I don't know. Is that what I think it is? Is that molted, hot? Yes. Excruciating pain, fire right there. Like what? I think it's hot. A bed of hot, hot, hot coals. That looks like a lava pit. It looks like lava. Pit. He's dead. I mean, this guy down, this guy down here is that was definitely dead. <laughs> he's dead. I mean, he's just legitimately laying there. Wait, wait. So who's the good cunt? Who's the bad cunt? I don't understand so why we even... just. So all of this was happened. Uh, and taken place because this guy hesitated, got scared, and then held on to these guys as he was going in and pulled them in after him. He effectively, for sure, killing this guy. There's no way this so, guy survived that. I mean, what was the plan? Him to walk across it or launch him over it? That's that's what I don't get. So that's that's where this becomes hazy. And I'll be honest, we might even have to throw this case out because it's not in context. But what is the purpose of this man walking on these coals? If someone can illuminate this to me. I don't. I don't understand the practice in general of walking on coals. You should have some like. Yeah, can we just stop with the stuff. fucking doing the shit from one thousand years ago that was cool? Not like it's not cool no more, bro. People like what the fuck? Like stop! Like they're still no biting the. Yeah, like we know better. Like they're still biting the foreskin off baby dicks. Yeah, like, like what? Like stop what it, bro. Doing? Like, Stop I, I just, it! Like what? First of all, what what do you accomplish? Like, oh, I've got control over my body enough. I can block out the pain sensors in my feet. Like, no, you probably have a disease if you're not feeling anything in your feet when you walk on fucking coals. Hey, you, you have diabetes, asshole. Fuck. Hey, quick little litmus <laughs> test for if your if your uh, nervous system is working. Walk on these coals. Are you starting to sweat and, and it feel too intense when you get too close to it, let alone touch it? Okay, there we go, dummy. I'm sweating just thinking about the fact that someone would do that. I mean, oh, it looks walking? so hot. You guys legit thought it was lava, and it still might be. Yeah, yo, bro. Basically, shit like walking on coals and and sword swallowing, whatever. Do that. Leave that shit for carnivals and carny shit. Like, question: yeah, yeah. Could this have been a low-budget attempt at a uh, local stage production of Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith? That we're at the oh. Anakin, the Anakin scene on Mustafar. <laughs> on Mustafar, yeah. They could have been doing a dress rehearsal, and he got nervous and fucked up. I mean, the Spider Man when it opened on Broadway, it was like having all kinds of errors and fucking. Like, Dude, like five people died. It was yeah, crazy. Like, people were getting injured and shit. Broadway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where all the broads find a way. <laughs> that went down the wrong hole. <laughs> you, looked, you looked down the wrong hole? Was that what you said? Got him. <laughs> Fucking got him, dude. <laughs> you looked down her asshole. She said, she said Broadway like that, and then I was, I was going to go. <laughs> yeah, it's rough on these stages, but I had beer in my mouth still, and I started to laugh already, and then it just fucking went <laughs> all down the wrong pipe. And then I got right, 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 right. as it was coming up that I was about to spit beer all on my computer. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Keep it together. Next one. <laughs> oh, 
So I'm keep it together, honey. Keep it together. I'm just gonna say all bad cunts. All of those people sucking, and God burning uh, in the fire. They just yeah. Woo. Hail uh, Satan. Hail uh, Mary. Uh, okay. okay. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I didn't on purpose pull a bunch of clips that start without context, but this is just sometimes what we have to work with some weeks. So you know, sometimes sometimes you don't get a clean cut. Uh, a cut and dry case on your desk of I shot this person, so, you know. Sometimes we got to do a little digging. Uh, so this one, uh, <coughs> the two suspects we got, uh, <laughs> we got uh, Bumblebee here, um, who was a very large, angry black woman, and uh, Whitey McTidy here, who's uh, what I would describe as the typical cheerleader, and in fact, she is a cheerleader. No idea what this argument was over, but as you'll see here in a sec, oh, some fucking shit ensues. I don't think there's sound for this oh. video, also, unfortunately. Oh. oh, 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 wow. Oh, I've seen this before. This is a dumb old white girl scrapes her. Yo, this white girl's got hands. Yeah, this is pre COVID. Why are you showing me old shit again? This is just what came up my feed. I hadn't seen it before, dog. So, mm -hmm. first of all, I gotta say, annoying that there's no sound at all. Oh no! I got the version. I had the uh, version with the sound. That shit was crazy. Well, uh, okay, you, you can you've, if you've seen it, then maybe you can provide some context. So what's exactly going on in this clip? Because uh, black girl throws the first home punch, girl, and then white girl comes up, and she just starts. Home girl was getting off. bullied. White girl was getting bullied, and she was like, "Yo, I'm not trying to get bullied. I'm not trying to fight you. Like, get away from me." Stop acting up. And she was oh, like, so "Nah, she bitch." Was giving her a fucking warning of like, "Hey, like, I'm not really feeling this. Like, I'm." Hey, only you give you. warning. That's fair. <laughs> She was like, yo, chill out. I'm not trying to be about this right now. I'm on my team. And she was like, nah, we doing this right here, right now. And she was like, nah, chill. was this over? Just straight boat? Like, just uh, I think I think somebody in her squad, I'm saying squad, like I know what the, like I know about cheerleading squads and shit. Fuck. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gay. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Quick anecdote. Um, I did not realize these pillows are all fucking. I guess what is this goose? How do I know about shit like this? What the hell is wrong with me? What, what? How do I know about cheerleading squads? That's what? What is that? Pillows are made of, dude. It's feathers. Well, it's that's, a terrible that's, idea. That's it. That's called a geese. That's a goose. Goose feather. Because we need got the good I'm shit. About let me, fucking. Let me tell you. Everything. Because can, can I be honest? They're comfy pillows, but. Boy, do they fucking like you get all the goose feather there. It stabs you in the fucking. Shut eye. the fuck up. You're the type to complain He's about buttery about soft leather. Feathers. I'm entering the tr I'm entering the part of my life where I can actually accept that I have white privilege now because I'm just starting to ball out with goose goose pillows. You're just gonna you're gonna see Joey and Central Park just just blaming black people for harassing him. I'm trying to watch my birds here, Darky. If you don't mind, <laughs> I will call the police on you. The guy's like, uh, sir, I'm just having a picnic with my family. Can you fuck off? That's it. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, can I get a park ranger here? This this black man insulted me. I don't like the way he, he said my. At me. He said my mother has a fat ass. He used the N word and I'm scared. I don't know if that's a tribal call to mean war. I don't know if I'm his friend. I'm just scared. Um, I gotta based on your context, assuming you're telling me the truth. I, I mean, I gotta give the fucking um. Oh no, that's the truth. That's the, bitty bitty titty that. there, fucking the cheerleader girl. I mean, that sounds like she was very Whitey McTidy. Whitey McTidy, thank you. I couldn't. Re you knew. You noticed I couldn't remember what the fuck I said because you listened to me, babe. You listen. Um, why let's, let's just say she made Peter McNally proud. Don't you, you mean, don't know you who mean, Peter McNally uh, is? No, but don't you know who? Wait, who is Peter McNally? It's the guy that got knocked out by Mike Tyson in like three seconds. <laughs> nice. nice. I, I, I thought you were going to drop your boy Gene's name again. Oh, Gene LaBelle? I'm looking for you, Gene. It's on site. Oh, dog. Gene LaBelle. Oh, Gene LaBelle will grab you by your wrist. Still. To cross you across the street and snap it in half to trying to get your fucking ass across. The He'll take your you, Adam's you, you think, apple, dude, with one hand and crush it, dude. You, you think still that he could do that? <clears throat> still. These old niggas got grip. Hang on. You know what too hard is? Hang on. We're looking at a picture of this fucker. Gene LaBelle. That dude's like Gene a 20th time black belt. Gene LaBelle. 
Uh, Ivan Jean LaBelle is an American martial artist, stunt performer, actor, blah, 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 nicknamed the godfather of grappling, is widely credited with the <laughs> <of> <laughs> no! So I keep it standing, <laughs> dog. Easy. Son, you shake his hand, he's not letting you go. But he let you go. You, 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 you're not in the hand no more, but you felt it. Like, you still feel it, like a Bro, week I'm later. Looking, this like, troll ass under a bridge this, looking motherfucker is this, not breaking apples this, with this his guy, one hand. This guy that with his like, bare hands. Gene bro, fucking LaBelle. He has the nose that has like the boils like like a fucking troll, dude. Oh, do you know how old this He's a gangster. Is <laughs> 90, 80, 88. Oh, I would fucking His real name is him. Rumpelstiltskin, dude. Son. These oh. old niggas would fold you up. What are you talking about? Can I be honest with you? What the fuck are you talking about? Bro, he's you? been grappling for 80 <laughs> years. Do you understand his bones are made of steel now? They're brittle. He's going to No, die they're in five not. Years. He's been kicking ass and shitting fire for the last 80 fucking years. And he's kicking and he's ass fucking... and shitting fire. You're stupid. Wait, dude. Look at this picture. He would fuck you the up. The picture that he showed on screen, he's holding a piece of wood, but so daintily. Yeah. He doesn't look <laughs> strong, dude. Because he doesn't want to hurt your ass. He's not strong. Yeah, he would fucking kill you. This old fucking fuck. Yep. No, get out. Yo, bro, he would stretch you, stretch you, and you would be, and you would be tapping out like, ah! No fucking way, dog. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. He has a gun. I would bet. Now. <laughs> oh, he has a gun. Yo, come on, bro. You seen, you seen Joey Karate. Don't talk shit. You are a piece. <laughs> you are such a piece. Of shit, <laughs> you seen, you seen Joey Karate. Don't talk shit. I would. Oh my stop god, this old man. Look at. That, look at that gangster. He's a guy. Oh, he still got hey, black shoes hey, you know and what? black socks. Does he have a pinky ring? Can, hey, you know what? I'll give you. He I'll, would whip your ass. I, I'll give you. He's got. He's got apple crushing hands. Look at those fucking meat cleavers. But look at his fucking <laughs> gut. I would fucking crane. What does yeah. his shirt say? I'll crane kick him in the gut once. I don't. I don't. So what? I dream. I'm a what? I don't even know. I. Something about motorcycles. I don't smoke. Right now. It's a motorcycle shirt. I I didn't smoke. I dream. No, no, it says I don't. Oh. But but what's weird is that's an N. It says I don't smoke. I dream. I'm a motorcycle. But it. <laughs> what the fuck? Kind no, of shirt? no, got it. Ready? It says I don't snore. I dream. I'm a motorcycle. Oh, oh I, I nailed it. it. An I was like, what the fuck is like? Got it. Nailed. He, dude, he's wearing, he's wearing I dumb that was... shirts too. Oh, I'll fucking stomp. Oh, get life alert on standby. Son. And his oh, dumb shirt son. is tucked in his Help, pants. I've fallen and I can't get son. up. Because an Irishman is stomping my son. head in. Son, he would make you wish you were back in Ireland sucking dick for fucking schmeckles, bro. Stop playing. Not <laughs> on your fucking life, dude. I will fucking Mackles, nigga. I will bend him over and I'll yeah. give him uh, uh, the fucking the good old shillelagh dog. It ain't happening. Whatever. I, you know, I won't even punch him. I'll grapple him. I'll go on his battlefield because this old brittle man. <laughs> Gene LaBelle, I love you. Just know that. Look at him. He's fucking. <laughs> The color Ooh, wait, in his is that the guy is because the blood is no longer good in his body. <laughs> the blood that is circulating in his old 90 year old body is from 10 years ago. He might, be, he might be dead in this video. He has sepsis, <laughs> as well as hey, that hey chill. My dad died of that. Come on, <laughs> my dad died of that. You piece of shit. His blood is yeah, so that, old, it moves so slowly through his body, it's not circulating. <laughs> It's like, it's like, imagine, like, what is it? Like the earth, it, the earth does one complete rotation in 24 hours. It's like, imagine if earth took 72 Yo, hours. I'm, I'm day. still, I'm still life. scared of that man. He could be 150. I'd, out, I'd oh, still be scared of that oh, man. This man is spinning out of the gravity in, in the solar system. His of hat life. is not even on his head. His so, hat's not even, it's not even. 
Oh no, nah, it's doing one of these. It's oh oh, it's not even in the. It's either it's either a fitted hat that does not fit him, or or he has not he's, adjusted the tab in the back. He's not strong enough <laughs> to, to adjust, the, adjust the strap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, listen, I may be a five-time ninety-fourth den black belt, but listen, oh Simon, would God. you mind? Could you call my grandson to come adjust this for me? This old fucking brittle fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Patty LaBelle. Bruce Lee would slap your ass, pussy. You mean? Yeah, right. You, mean you smoking Patty dicks. LaBelle. That's that's totally that's totally not even the right person at all. That's the that's the only person to kick Bruce Lee's ass. That, no, Patty LaBelle would whoop <laughs> Bruce Lee's ass. I'll give you that. G- no, hey, Gene LaBelle, I, motherfucker. You know what? I don't see Gene LaBelle in the UFC game. Oh, DLC so so pussy. so have you ever heard of the LaBelle lock? It was named after him. Look that up. No, I haven't. Do heard yourself it a favor. It's a shitty move that people know. No, it's remember. not a shitty move. It's not a shitty move. You know it's not. Okay. Look how serious. He is. Okay. Oh, you know it's not. Because the label lock Stop. is his. Is his Stop uh, trolling, you movie piece movie of shit. Reason. I'm the one trolling you. Fuck. I don't even. I don't even know if it's named <laughs> after him. I just said that. Still skin. Like, <laughs> I don't even know if it's named after him, Joey. I'm just saying, yeah. talking shit. Is that even a move? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. It's a real move. It's a real move. <laughs> this guy looks like a this guy looks like Ed Asner two years before he died. Which 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 leads me to believe this man's not far not far the, from this earth. Bro, that man's gonna live till he's like hundred and fifty. He's a gangster. I yeah, I'm sure he is a gangster, but he ain't living until one fifty. All right, this one's a nice feel good one because I think we can all agree that uh children suck, teenagers suck. Um, the, the new generation is dumb, so this is just a feel good for us. Stop resisting, please comply. Stop resisting, please comply. Stop resisting, please comply. Don't open your mouth. Stop resisting. Let's go, Don't open your mouth. Stop resisting. Don't open your mouth. Stop resisting. Don't open your mouth. Stop resisting. Don't open your mouth. This girl's a psycho. That chick is a Dude, the girl just for the last of the You mute this? Mute it. Jesus Christ. I wonder if this is like cop training. Mm, I don't think they're dressed. Because I remember they're not dressed college... uniform enough. They would be. In... It could be like a, a, a introduction thing or something, maybe. Or I remember in college. Uh... Yo, the dude in the orange is like, yeah, I'm tough. I'm tough. I got this. Okay, this girl's now been over a little bit, she's, but she's still. That's pretty mild. Yo, the kid in the orange, he's tough. He's tough. You're this kid in the purple shorts is a pussy. I mean. Okay, can I get the story now? I kind of get the gist of it. What the? F- Hang on, I'm not. I'm not done watching. This is therapeutic for me. Yeah. <laughs> not for me. Oh, now Orange is this not is... taking it so well. Yeah, now he lost. It's over. <laughs> Would be funny is if he's like, "Oh, I bet you guys love this water," and just start pouring it on the ground. Um, uh, oh, honestly, I got no context for that. It's just it's just a bunch of kids getting pepper sprayed, seemingly volunteeringly. Dude. Voluntarily. Uh, what's that shit? The uh, that shit that they were trying to get rid of, uh, get rid of uh, in schools, the uh, the Republicans. Uh. In the South. What? The uh. That whole black uh, thing. The uh, I forget what it's called. It's missing. Um, the words escaping me right now. Uh, black uh, race, race, uh, something in schools. Uh, critical race theory. Critical race theory. You think that's part of that shit? Oh, like a like. See, so you can see because that's an interesting perspective, though. Because I didn't think about that. Because there is only white kids there. So kind of all like white a, kids. Um, you want to see what kids in the dude. You want to wow. see what kids what in the inner city in go signing through? Signing off on that. <laughs>
Interesting. Uh, any woke parent now would be like, yes, you need to know what these experiences are like. Which that honestly, could have been in a... Honestly, good. I think everyone in school in general, I think part of going to high school, white, black, girl, whatever, get pepper sprayed. Well, yeah, that's something like about that. Had... That looked like, because they, I think, I think I seen a lady with a face mask on, so it looks pretty recent. Yeah, it's definitely within the last year this occurred. So that's probably some like critical race theory shit going on. Protest, protesting 101. Okay, the cops will pepper spray you. You need to get used to it so that you can push through. Exactly. Fucking terrible. They're all they're all bad guns. Um, this one. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this as a good con bad con. I, I think this I think this still works with us. Good cunts. Good cunt, bad cunt. Dressing up like Spider Man at a fucking kid's birthday party still. I'm, I'm gonna say bad cunt. Now he's a squash spider. They're so funny. They're just giggling. They have no idea. Like, oh, you fucking paralyzed. Yeah. That's what happens in Mexican yeah, Spider Man and like skips leg day. Don't skip leg day, Mexican Spider Man. <laughs> oh, how do you say spider in Spanish? Um, araña. Araña? Yeah. Araña, ima uh, araña mano. No, hombre de araña. De ira hombre de araña. <laughs> Hombre de araña. Hombre de araña. That's how you say Spider-Man in Spanish. Hombre de araña. That's the name of this episode. Wow, dude. <laughs> oh, you need to type that, Timmy, so I can name <laughs> the episode that. Slash also, can we shoot a spin-off <laughs> spin series of you as hombre? <laughs> I can't even say it. Right? Hombre de araña. Uh, to, to be honest, it just, it'd just be a bunch of goofy skits where it's like it's like Ani like walking down the street and I run up and. Are you late first. though? Do you know? Do you not know about the Spider Man in New York City, the one that drinks the Hennessy I've and? I see him. Uh, but is he Spanish? Yes, he's Dominican. Fuck! Damn it! There ain't no Puerto Rican <laughs> Spider Man. Um, Vice did a uh, thing on him, and he he said he was Dominican. Yeah. Yeah, but you're already Spider yeah, he's 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 spider just he's spent he's just fucking Dominican Spider Man. Spider Cuz Aranya. He's Spider Cuz. He's Spider Cuz. Oh, that's dumb. Completely that's different dumb. and way less Aranya. cool. He's not true. Dude. He's not dude, oh we make the Spider Man outfit, but the color scheme is based around. I mean, the I mean, I feel you, but I kind of don't want to step on this guy's toes. The guy that just did the backflip. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe in yourself. I see. Uh, I don't want to kind of like eat into his market. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, what's that guy gonna do when I, you know, when I take him out of the scene, bro? Like, just, oh, oh, all we do for the, the Mexican skit. Thor? I don't know. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, all we do for the skit is it's just I run up and steal Ani's purse, and she's like. Hombre de Arania, help me. And, and, and it just cuts to you. And it just shows you run and jump off, oh. like jump off something. And then it just cuts to that clip. Of How do you say help in Espanol? Ayúdame. Ayuda. Ayuda. Ayúdame. Ayúdame. Hombre de Arania. Hombre de Arania. And, and it just ¿Dónde show, está? It show, all we see is O in the outfit, but it's like all Puerto Rican style. Like we have, like instead of the spider icon, it's the Puerto Rican star. And then it just, it's the color scheme of the Puerto Rican flag. And you go, Nigga. You, Nigga, that's Captain first... America. <laughs> but it's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Have you looked at Captain America's there's, there's chest? Still the, there's still it's the, webbing. The, there's still the webbing over the flag. 
like the Spider-Man webbing uh, on his outfit, like the way it webs no, over the red. No, that's not webbing. That's 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 semen. That's not it, webbing. It's semen. Yeah. yeah. And you actually you shoot your web from your pants, not your wrists. You just hey. oh oh you want you you want hombre de araña to spend uh to be hombre in jail. Si <laughs> <laughs> si sí, sí, señor. Hombre in prison. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the first step of you hitting that thing to do like a fl crazy flip or something, and then it just cuts to that guy fucking <laughs> being paralyzed. <laughs> fucking tremendous. Um, wow, I'm not going to stop thinking about that skit now. That's, that, that's going to be really fun. Um, so that guy's dead. Bad con. Don't be Spider-Man. Um, okay. It's time for the last segment, guys. And we neglected you last week. We had so much fucking fun last week. I can't not. I can't go two weeks without giving you an "Am I Gross?" So it's time for "Am I Gross?" Mom, do you ever feel not so fresh down there? No. There must be something wrong with you. Really? Yeah. I've never had that problem, and I don't know any woman who has. Motherfucker! Bite off his penis. Now I'm trying to think. My least favorite fucking. I'm going to tell you something gross. Um, I was walking back from getting a suit tailored for a dumb fucking wedding, which, by the way, oh, don't ever get a suit tailored. It costs so much goddamn money, it'll make you even angrier. What's crazy is that... Not really. I got a suit one. tailored before. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, you could be buy a new one, but... I got a suit tailored before. It wasn't that expensive. Yeah, but I have a nice-ass suit. Did you not see when I walked out of there, the guy was like, wow, that is a nice suit. Nigga, you think I don't have a nice suit? What the fuck? No, no, no. I'm saying the guy that like, like she was, Anyways. she was being all like, buy, just buy a new suit. And it's like, I have a no, nice it's suit. No, like, it's if you're going to complain about it being that expensive, then you could just get a new one that's less expensive. But, but I'll still have to pay money to get it tailored. So it will still end up being the same price. You inherited and I already the suit. And so it's a, anyways. And it's a baller ass suit. It is. It's so Where the fuck did you go and get the shit hemmed at? And fucking somewhere in nice in brooklyn to the jews no, no, it's, 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 it's a place it's a place nearby and I, like I've, I've gone to this guy before he's he's the fucking best in the area to be honest and oh you're talking about the guy from your old street yeah, right yeah that dude yeah oh, that yeah he told me he was pretty good yeah dude he was he's fucking really he even I remembered me he's like you've been here before and i was like yeah he's like hey, that's the guy from the laundromat mm -mm. No, no right no. okay he has a cleaners though right yeah, it, it was no, it was like that little storefront next to PJ's old place, and it was like uh, it was yeah. just alterations and tailoring and shit. Um, okay, okay. But uh, so I'm walking. I accidentally brought both my suits with me. I only meant to bring one, and, and so I'm walking back with the other one. And I'm already, I'm, I'm by the way at this point, so angry at how much I had to pay. But it's just a real. It's also just like you know, I mean, it's one of those things you pay this cost once, it's done with. It's fucking whatever. I'm walking back. I'm angry. My goddamn hanger break breaks with the suit on it that I'm planning on wearing to yet another wedding this weekend just falls right on the New York street. Fucking. Oh, yep. I just pick it up, angrily throw it back in the back. Gross. Man. Now, there is no visible hobo piss or anything like that on it, but I'm sure if we took a fucking, like, you know, black light, black light <laughs> to it, we'd be horrified. My am I gross? Probably not gonna get it clean before I go to this wedding. Don't give a fuck. I'm gonna end up cleaning it myself. Oh, so you're gonna secretly clean it when I don't log? Yeah. My babe. So never mind. That's, what, that's that. what chicks do. What about you? Oh, you got because he's gonna go to my family <laughs> wedding, where there's gonna be hundreds of people, and like fuck your family the wedding. Possibility of him smelling like hobo piss. Is really not one that I'm trying to deal with right now. Let's so be I'll honest. just fucking clean it. Let's be honest. I already look like I smell like hobo piss. And well, also, what's hey, lady, crazy is hey, that, lady, like, uh, hey, lady, please remember we live in an apartment. You're literally screaming at 10:30 at night. So try to be someone who's a normal human being. And funny thing about a microphone is the the purpose of the microphone is so typically you don't have to shout. It's being projected into whatever you need. Which fortunately, the recording don't need that much anger. Thanks, babe. But try again. Thanks for explaining what a microphone does. Well, you were yelling into it Anyways. unnecessarily. Um, what about you? Oh, you got any fucking gross shit? No, to be honest. I mean, keeping your nose and ass clean. No, I think I've seen some gross shit like on video. Like I was just on Reddit and I just seen some gross shit. Oh, yes. I seen somebody. Um, I was watching. Uh, 
botch surgeries and shit like that. Like, you know, like women getting like lipo, whatever, like shit like that. And this, they, they were showing this, this Brazilian lady's lip and that shit was like corroded from all the fake fat she had in there and shit like that. Oh shit. And they sucked it out and shit. No, 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 no. This is the pre, the pre, uh, like pre visit to the doctor to go get it fixed. So they just have like, so th- I, I'm guessing she's like a famous chick on Instagram, like Brazilian butt lip chick or whatever. And she's just showing like, you know, her trials and tribulations and shit. And the shit was like black. It was, it was ugly. Oh, and it was like lopsided. Stuff. Yeah, it was like lopsided. It looked, people were in the comments talking about there was like necro, uh, necrosis, necrosis. Uh, necrosis happening or some shit, yeah. but I don't know. Yeah, it's like the same shit when a fucking like uh, brown recluse spider bites you and the skin starts dying around the wound. It turns like the skin literally starts dying, so it turns black. So I've been real into like looking at like botch surgery shit recently too. I don't know. It's been like weird. That shit's fun to look like, at, isn't it? It is. It is. There's, yeah. there's a Instagram channel I have to share with you. I think it's like Miss and Gamey or something like that. But she's like a um, uh, uh, she does autopsies and shit. I found out about her page through Doctor Drew, and it's like she'll do this stuff, dude. She does this post every week, and it's like she'll do she'll just post the image, and it's just some gross, crazy looking shit, and it'll be like, you know, like on it'll be like a person's leg, and it'll be some like fucking crazy shit happening on it or something. And it'll be like mystery diagnosis. Like come back next week to find out like what act, and then like the next week she'll like explain what it actually is and stuff. It's fucking wild the stuff she shows, dude. Um, it's no. Oh. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's look at these last two clips and we'll wrap this bitch up. I got something real good for you. Oh, uh, I hate my gross. So, oh, um, how do you typically open a beer bottle? Like probably a uh, bottle opener. I don't open it at all. Bottle <laughs> opener. Or you don't open it at all. You lighter. Say, lighter. Yeah, like lighter. I use a lighter a lot. Dude, this guy figured out a way to open it with a straw. Put it right under there in the fulcrum. I guess I was on. I don't. Uh, How horrifying was that, my good friend? Ouch. I mean, the moment it gets lodged. Uh. He must not do no kind of hard work at all. Poking through. No. Like the. St- if he had calluses on his hands, he'd be all right. But he don't. <laughs> I mean, I get where his brain was going, but like why you would not, first of all, the correct move there would be to slam that end against the table or something, not your fucking hand, dummy. <coughs> Secondly, why would you not, like, like it's risky even just having your hand up like that around the top, the straw could just miss and go through your hand because it's slamming against the table. It's just such a dumb way to do that. I mean, I, I remember even, and this isn't even as gross, but it's like, you know, I remember the classic, uh, and I, I only did this, like, one time, really, because it just hurt so bad. Uh, but, like, you ever see the guys that open a beer bottle with their teeth? I did that with, like, these back ones. <sighs> and actually, no, I think I did it, like, twice, because the guy showed me, and I did it once, and it's like, if you find the right fulcrum, it doesn't hurt, and I got it. I was like, okay, that's not bad. And then I did it a second time, and it just, something didn't feel, like, like it felt a little too sensitive. I was like, yeah, never again. I literally I was like, mm. But like that kind of shit, it's like, yeah, why know. would you do that? Just open the fucking like we have a literal tool for opening bottles. Just use it. You don't honey. need to find another one. We found the thing. Yeah, we're we we uh, not uh, now. This one, this one isn't as gross. It's just kind of what the fuck. And honestly, I pulled this more to go like, oh, is this is this some kind of Latin thing I don't know about or whatever? Look at my man getting his fucking fresh doggy going on, but he's. You can look. It's not that. It's not gl- graphic, really. No, but I don't. I know it's coming, and I just. Don't. It, it it doesn't get worse than that. I promise uh. you. I've watched this already. It doesn't get worse than that. Look at this. Oh, yo, that's crazy, right? Like he's not cutting them that deep, but it's like just enough to leave a fucking red, red like cut. Kind listen, of listen, what listen. I, I, it's a straight razor. What? Um, no, I don't know. I don't know what that design. And it looks like shit, but this is a big thing in just the community. It's just Latin, African American, whatever designs and stuff. Um, but, but I prefer not, it with the clipper. Yeah, but not. But not a yourself, razor, right? Like they wouldn't. You, there's no one's like going like, yo, this is the new vibe. Like get get the like 
fade but then like shade like actually cut the design into your head that sounds fucking no nah, that's that 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 was torturous to look at i can't i can't not, i can't bear what let's say okay like you're kind of let's say that's your thing right you kind of have to lock into one design because you start doing a bunch of different designs over time you're just gonna have a bunch of different cut marks all over your fucking head right ow like, yeah, um, so I've been in that position before where I've had, like, that cut just coming down the side where they want to, like, you know, make it look like it's the same as this side. Yeah. So um, I've never had the designs like that before. Well, not since I was a kid, but, like, one time they cut me so bad that, like, it was like a red line that you could see for, like, a week. Jesus, fuck. Like a scar. Like, it had to heal. It was just bad. sharp as fuck, man. Yeah. No blood. No blood was like dripping or anything, but yeah, you will see just, like a little it, dot or two. You just you just feel that little, and it like cut where it cuts in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then to top it off, they hit the fucking alcohol right after. Oof. Oh, and it burns. Oof. Pain. You know, you know it's funny. I did that one, one time. I had a cousin's wedding in Virginia that we went to, and we stopped off before. And this was like I was like fucking maybe at most like eleven or twelve at this age. I was probably a little bit younger, but. That's why I still had short hair and everything. And I remember we went, we went to like, <laughs> legit, I went to like a black barber shop and the guy was like, I got you. I'm going to pimp you out. And he did the whole like fucking, like he did that with the alcohol after. I just remember it fucking burned so goddamn bad. Like, from Hey, yo, can I just say something too, yeah. right quick? This is kind of on topic, but off topic. I want to send a special shout out to the fucking assholes. This happened to me on my vacation. Um, My friend came with us uh well he met me in puerto rico and this fucking asshole decided to get his fucking haircut in puerto rico bro do me a favor if you want to be a good friend don't get your fucking haircut while you're on vacation with your friends bro, get your fucking haircut get your fucking haircut before the vacation or don't get your fucking haircut at all i had to wait two fucking hours for this piece of shit in the puerto rico fucking hot two son. hours to cut you, his hair you fucking That's asshole Thanks for reminding me, Grizz, you piece of shit. I hate you. I'll be honest, like I'm I love you, sure, dog, I'm but you know, sure I my fucking I want I'm pretty sure my fucking stepdad has done that before and shit. We're a bit like I'm pretty sure it's been like a Hawaiian vacation. He's like, you know what? I, get I out of get here. And I'm like, dude, we're on vacation. Fuck off. Like, you should not be doing any a, a, a haircut is an errand. <laughs>